What's going on guys? It's your boy Worthy Prince coming at ya with another Lords mobile video and you're back today with POA on the attack. We've got Mr. Infamous leading the rally today. Very, very strong rally leader and we're going to be teaming up with AA Steel Balls coming in with them. And yeah, you know, we migrated over to, what kingdom was it? It's 498, and this was one of the guilds we partnered up with so we could actually run some doubles together. So we can take down some bigger targets, just like this guy right here, Mr. VLPZ. How you doing, buddy? 466 million might, gold songstress, and really decent mixed gear set, to be honest. He's got a decent amount of kills as well, so, you know, this is no one to joke about with. But the thing is, he hasn't got his anti-scout on, so we know what's in there. <laughs> Over a million of each tier 4, 2 million Royal Guards, 2 million Cavalry, 1.1 million T3 Stealth Snipers. He's then got 3 million Sharpshooters, but he's a bit lacking on Gladiators and Reptilian Riders, and it's that reason we decided to go ahead and set the rallies. I've told you once, I'll tell you again, I've even made videos about it. T3, T4 troop compositions are dangerous. Especially when you've got a couple of decent guilds that will come out and fight and send rallies and you're sleeping in a public guild. Yes, not a good idea. He was sitting in a public guild as R5. He had like three or four other castles, really tiny ones, in there. So first of all, we know he's offline because we've got an alt account in the public guild checking it constantly. And number two, he's going to get no reinforcements whatsoever because there's no other T4 players in this public guild. I don't know what he was doing, what the plan was, what his ideas were. I don't know. What I do know is we have tested the formation <laughs> because you can see the smoke coming out of his castle and we basically sent a T2 march at him to see what would go into the infirms and it was cavalry that went to the infirms first. So of course we're going to go ahead and set a range rally. Now Mr. Infamous's range uh, is, part, is part of legends shall we say. When someone had a gold range set I would kind of class that as, as a ham sandwich yeah. Well, when it goes to Mythic, it's a bit like adding pickle. You know, it, it just takes it to another level. And that's exactly what Mr. Infamous is running. He's basically running a ham sandwich with pickle. So it's a full Mythic range set that he's got. His stats are, well, they're, they're, they're stuff of legends. And then we've got Steel Balls over the other side. Now, Steel Balls is going to go ahead and send an infantry rally because the plan here is for Mr. Infamous to actually wipe out all of the cav. So then when Steel Balls goes in, he goes straight into a bunch of range with that beautiful infantry rally. Well, that is the plan anyway. Here we go. The rallies are marching. They don't need to be timed to perfection, of course, because we know he's still offline. <laughs> and there's the burn. Really good stuff. We've got a burn on the first rally. War stats, war gear. Really, really nice. So we got the burn. And now it's a case for Steel Balls to come down and smash into that range. Is that what's, what's going to happen? Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Coming in right now. Go on, Steel. Kick some butt. And it's a... Oh, it's a smoke. Okay, right. So that tells me that he must have hit some cavalry, which means we didn't quite clear the cavalry that was in there. Down to 373 million might. So, you know, the might drops are actually pretty good. Let's take a look at the battle reports and see what went on on those two hits. So, here's Mr. Infamous's hit coming in for 2.5 million Red Deads. Oof! That is one heck of a hit on 12 million troops. Really nice stuff. You can see he wiped out almost all of the cavalry, but he left about 500,000, just shy of 500,000 ancient Drake Riders there. So, of course, when Steel Balls hit, he went straight into that cavalry with that infantry. And that kind of messed him up a little bit. So, they took a few reds. Didn't quite get into enough range to cause massive damage. Which is a shame. But what he did do was completely clear out the rest of the cavalry on that rally. So, with that being said, this time we're both going to go ahead and set infantry rallies. Because now it's a two troop type situation. Infantry now should do massive damage on this castle. Okay, so obviously we've just done a couple of big rallies. It's now going to start popping up into the Kingdom News. Everybody gets curious when they see a new target being hit, especially when there's quite a lot of troops involved. And of course the scouts start coming in. Now this potentially 
is bad for us because we're now getting this guy some notifications because other guilds are scouting. I can't really grumble, it's something that we do and everybody does. If you spot something where you could potentially get kills, you're 100% going to go ahead and scout it. <laughs> but luckily enough, no one else decided to come over and set any rallies, so we didn't actually have to worry about losing any other troops. So as you can see, the troops are coming in now across the lake, getting ready to fill Mr. Infamous's rally up now, and the Steel Balls is continuing to do that at the top. Now what we're going to do this time round, to make things a bit fair for both parties here, I've actually got a timer on Mr. Infamous, so the plan now is to let Steel Balls at AA, there he is up there, he's actually going to hit first with his infantry. So we said to them, you hit first now, because... We didn't quite manage to clear the cavalry out, so you didn't get the hit you were expecting. Um, so you go ahead and hit first, and get a real good hit on that range, and we'll follow up after with our infantry. It's the fair thing to do, I mean, we're not really doing this to snatch as many kills as possible. We want to work as a team, we want to make sure that both guilds get a good amount of kills. And time isn't against us right now, of course, because... We still know he's offline. <laughs> of course, we still have our person sitting in the public guild, checking things out, making sure that this guy doesn't appear from anywhere. And here comes the rally as they perform a miracle of walking across water. You know, these are the kind of troops we've got, you know. <laughs> Super troops. Okay, so the time is still on Infamous. He's going to go and cancel that in a moment as soon as they get a little bit closer, just to make sure they get that first hit. And I think I was counting down the timer as we were doing this to make sure we got it all right. It's good practice anyway for future targets. So here we go. There we go. The rally's just been launched. Miss Steel Balls has just hit. Beautiful. There's the burn. And then we go in with Mr. Infamous on the second one. Nice. Another good burn. Okay, so let's have a look and see what kind of damage those two rallies done with the remaining troops we had left in there. He's down to 283 million might, so his might is dropping drastically. <laughs> he was well over 400 million, so almost, what is it, almost a 200 million drop right now. That's a really good hit from Steel Balls. 1.8 million red deads. Really nice. Left 6.6 .6 million in there. And then we're going to come in with Infamous for 2 million. Which I think is really, really good. Remember, this guy is in war gear and war talents. And T2 is always difficult to break down. That's why we build it for our rally traps. And as you can see, he took out almost a million of those sharpshooters. As well as the remainder of the infantry that was left. So all that's left in here now is literally just T2 million sharpshooters. The stealth snipers and the heroic cannoneers. But it's still over a million T4 range. So we're going to go ahead and set another infantry rally on this one we decided that no timers let's just set it we're gonna hit first most likely because we're the closest and then steel balls will follow in and hit whatever's left in the castle now it turns out <laughs> he's gonna hate me for saying this Nige, i'm sorry <laughs> but he got so excited he forgot to put his leader in the rally yeah <laughs> so here comes the rally and boom it's hit now i was expecting that to be a complete wipe with someone with these kind of stats 251 and i'm thinking that don't look low enough for a million t4 bro what happened there <laughs> well it turns out he got so excited with this awesome zero and the prospect of getting almost a 100 million mic drop rally but yeah, he forgot to put his leader in, so that beautiful mythic gear got dusty on the shelf when he went in and hit. But the good news is it does leave some troops for steel balls. So here he comes, and boom, there it is. So steel balls goes in and hits a lot more range than I think he was expecting to get from that rally. <laughs> and you know what, it's so funny because I didn't even realize until after I checked the report, but check that out, 191 million might that's what we got him down to so it's practically almost like a 300 million might drop in troops which is just oh my god now the funny thing is this guy actually did eventually come online but not yet anyway you saw the leader come back down that's because steel balls has released and he's given it to mr infamous because you know infamous found the target so it's only fair that he got to take the trophy which is the leader of course but there we go, 191 million, really, really awesome zero. Check this out, there's Mr. Infamous' hit, 
2.7 million red deads without no gear <laughs> and no leader. Still pretty good if you don't. <laughs> it's still pretty good. A 31 million might drop. You can see he cleared out the T2 and half the T3 practically. But there still is like a million T4 heroic cannoneers, which are the you know the money shock troops. And of course, there's the stealth snipers, which Mr. Steelballs here got the pleasure of hitting 60 million might drop and 1.9 million red deads for this poor guy. <laughs> and uh, that's the end of that chapter. We've got the green zero down the bottom. It's all done. It's all finished. There's the big zero. Um, like I said, he did come online. Now, I, I stopped recording and I was just watching, just chatting on the line call. And then suddenly I saw the little soldier salute come above his castle he put an emoji above his castle so he came online about five minutes after the last rally had hit it's always the way they always come online after the fact i don't know what it is with that but yeah anyway there you go guys poa and aa in action over 12 million troops got zeroed fantastic mic drop on the target Really clever and smart the way we kind of stalked it all day and then sat in the public guild watching and making sure we're good to go. If you enjoyed this, make sure you leave a thumbs up and hit subscribe, guys. And until the next time, stay safe, everybody, and peace out.